As the moon orbits the Earth, it occasionally passes through the Earth's shadow, resulting in a spectacular change in the moon's appearance for a short time. This event is called a lunar eclipse, and it happens at least twice a year, providing a rare show that's worth staying awake for. But what would a lunar eclipse look like if you were on the moon? From that perspective, you would actually be viewing a solar eclipse, with the Earth blocking the sun for a short period of time. The view would be spectacular, but there's more to it than that. Having such a large-scale lights out on the moon gives scientists a unique opportunity to study the moon's surface, and NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter is in a position to do just that. So what exactly does LRO plan to study? When the sun is obscured, the moon cools down, but not every area cools at the same rate. Rough areas of the moon, with large rocks and boulders, cool down more slowly than areas with fewer large rocks. By measuring the temperature of the moon as it cools, scientists can identify which areas are rougher than others. Earth-based telescopes have been doing something like this for years, but they're so far away that it's hard to get a good view. LRO's Diviner instrument, on the other hand, can measure temperature at an extremely high resolution